Hello and welcome, Cabin Chair. Let's have a look at the new Colossal Quest for Catastrophe. And uh, this was a fun one. It has some uh, interesting gimmicks, and then I was able to use a couple characters that I really like. And then uh, gimmicks here are the uh, magic circles, and then a little bit of uh, gravity barriers, and then a new gimmick uh, called the Damage Smoke, uh, which we'll see come out in between the, um, the white guys up there at the top. And uh, yeah, those are the gimmicks, but we don't really need characters with no magic circle. And we don't really need characters with no gravity barrier. Uh, it is possible to get through here, um, you know, just with uh, dark characters. Um, since this is a colossal quest, then dark characters get a big uh, buff to their defense and also the damage that they do. Um, so that's why it's recommended always to bring mostly the, um, the correct element, in this case dark. And I'm uh, talk about the team that I'm using. First is uh, Kanan. She's my one uh, drop character. And then uh, she has the uh, energy circle boost, uh, which turns her into a uh, chicken instead of a, a chick. Um, so when she's in that form, she gets an um, attack up uh, 1.5 times. Um, also her bump combo uh, gets that uh, damage up. Uh, she has a marking laser, which is pretty strong and then a becomes a pure strike shot, which is also very strong. Okay, let's have a look at the uh, stage real quick. Uh, this is stage two. And then we see the uh, Uranus, um, the pair there in the center. Uh, we want to get rid of them first. Uh, we also did that on the first stage. And then once we get rid of them, uh, then we can hit uh, the Sphinx and the tree, and that will give us defense up. Um, so then we can hit the damage smoke without taking too much um, damage. And then uh, it also gives a, da a defense down uh, to these white guys. And then we can uh, take them down. And in most cases, uh, these uh, guys are in pairs, so we want to take them down in the same turn. So if we look at that bottom pair, I got rid of the bottom one only. Um, so the top one will revive the bottom one. And then also summon the uh, damage smoke. And that damage smoke is very uh, painful. It does about 30,000 uh, damage to us. Um, so we definitely want to either avoid it or, you know, hit the Sphinx and the tree uh, before we get in there. Uh, but we were able to take down the pair in the upper right in the same turn, so now they're gone, and now we can just focus on the lower left. Uh, the second character I'm using is uh, Oberon, uh, Ascension. And I really like him. Uh, Midsummer Night's Dream is one of my favorite uh, Shakespeare's. And uh, he looks really cool here. He has uh, no magic circle. Um, so yeah, he can move around pretty freely. Um, he's got a good bump combo, which covers a lot of the screen. And that's important for this mission, uh, because we do want to set off the um, counterattacks of the trees and the sphinxes. And then he has a um, counterattack strike shot. Uh, where he can, you know, set off the counterattacks even when it's not his turn. Uh, next up I'm using uh, Hamlin, one of my favorite characters, and now he is finally good for a high level quest. <laughs> um, but he has uh, no gravity barrier. And then uh, he also has an 8 turn strike shot, um, so that means he can get immunity to the magic circles on those turns. And that strike shot gives him speed and power up, so that can get him moving around the screen doing some good damage. And then uh, finally, it uh, cancels the gravity barriers, um, so that can help out my other team members. So, lots of uses there. And then uh, he also has a status recovery, uh, which can help my other characters, uh, because sometimes they'll get hit with a uh, bump combo lock. And uh, he has an 8-way laser uh, bump combo, and also the white blast, uh, both of which are also really good for getting out uh, bump combos in order to... Uh, you know, set off the counterattacks. And then my friend is uh, Jacqueline Hyde, and uh, they are maybe the best character for this mission. Uh, they have both a uh, null gravity barrier and null magic circle. Um, a bump combo, which covers a lot of the screen to set off those counterattacks. And then a strike shot where he, where Jekyll and Hyde kind of separate and then do damage to everybody and does lots and lots of damage, so. Alright, and then uh, stage 3 here, 
Um, here the white guys are not in a pair, um, like with a uh, revival loop, so we can take them down one at a time. Uh, if we leave them out too long though, uh, they will hit us with a white blast. Uh, it's not a one hit KO, but it does take away a lot, so uh, we don't want to be hit by that. Okay, so there with the Jekyll and Hyde, I did not do direct attacks on the Sphinx or the tree. I was relying on Hamlin's uh, bump combo uh, in order to hit those uh, so that we could lower the defense of the uh, white guy, and that worked out. Okay, stage four, we see the mini boss. Uh, we'll want to get rid of the uh, Uranuses first, and then we can go after the boss. And uh, no uh, little white guys, uh, but uh, the mini boss will get the uh, damage smoke around it, so. Okay, so here we'll use an Oberon strike shot. We didn't really need it, but it charges up so quickly anyway that I thought I might as well use it. Here, I'm kind of in a difficult position. Um, it'll be difficult for me to go left and right because I might hit the uh, damage smoke. Um, probably Oberon's uh, bump combo will hit uh, one of the um, counterattack guys, uh, but I didn't know if I could count on that, so I went up instead and then uh, got rid of one of the Uranuses. Okay, I want to get rid of the other Uranus there. And I'm still not super sure on how uh, how strict the um, the hitbox is for the damage smoke. So there, it looked like I was starting in the damage smoke, but I moved out of it and I didn't take the damage. So I don't know. Maybe it's much uh, thinner than it looks. <laughs> All right, but anyway, the Uranuses are gone, so now we can uh, focus damage on the boss. Uh, of course, we want to set off the counterattack so we can lower the boss's defense um, so that we can do some real damage. And then um, if we can set off both of the counterattacks, then we can get into um, that area between the wall and the boss and then do some good damage there. Uh, but with characters without no gravity barrier, however, we have to be more um, kind of thoughtful about which uh, direction our attacks are going to take them. All right, so that didn't do too much, but oh well. Okay, here I have Hamlin. Get a little bit of healing in there. And we return him to his uh, original form. Here I'm getting a little nervous about how long I'm taking to take down this mini-boss. Um, so we're going to use uh, Jekyll and Hyde's uh, Strike Shot. Uh, we'll make sure we set off the counterattacks, and then uh, we'll just hope that we take down the boss after that. Okay, excellent. <laughs> Alright, and we'll get some healing in as well. Okay, stage five. Um, so we have the Uranuses out again, so we'll try to get rid of them. And then there is the pair of uh, white guys on the left, so we'll try to get rid of them uh, afterwards. Okay, still no damage smoke here, so we get a little bit of uh, leeway in where we can move. All right, and there it goes. Alright, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use the Strike Shot to get immunity to the Magic Circles. And then I'll hit the Sphinx and the Tree in order to uh, do the damage up, dam or defense up, defense down. Um, and then I'll uh, cancel the boss's uh, gravity barrier and then also take down the uh, two little guys on the left. So that worked pretty well. Okay, again with Oberon's uh, bump combo, I was counting on uh, him to set off the counterattacks in time. So Jekyll and Hyde was able to get over, get some damage, 
and then hit the damage smoke, but not take the damage. Okay, with Kanan, we'll slowly work our way over to the right, doing the same thing. Pretty good. And same thing with Oberon here. Okay. I would have loved to have picked up that boot and then continued and got some healing in the wall, but whatever. <laughs> okay, first boss stage. Um, same deal, basically. We'll just get rid of the Uranuses, we'll get rid of the pairs of white guys, and then we will go after the boss. Alright, that was a lucky irregular bound there. Oh, and I forgot to mention that once he hit the tree and the Sphinx once, uh, they will turn uh, intangible. Um, so you can kind of uh, choose angles where you will go through them. And then that can really help you, um, you know, keep your speed up. Um, so you can do damage to other guys later. It's kind of like your uh, bounce characters become Pierce. <laughs> Alright, just for kicks, let's use uh, Oberon Strike Shot again. We'll set off these um, counterattacks. Take down the little guys, do a little bit of damage to the boss. And again, just for kicks, let's use a Hamlin Strike Shot. Okay, nice damage from Kanan's uh, marking laser. Alright, and good damage to the boss as well, and then Hamlin stays in his original form uh, because he got the immunity to the magic circles. And we'll just work our way over to the right. Nice damage from uh, Kanan's marking laser again. And same deal here. Uh, we'll just move over to the left, set off the counterattacks, and then move back over to the right. I guess I missed one of the uh, counterattacks, however. I took the damage from that uh, damage smoke. Uh, but thankfully, we cleared the stage with that attack, so we can uh, advance. Okay, pretty poor positioning with Oberon there. Alright, once again, we'll get rid of the Uranuses. No, oh, HP is not looking good. Okay, HP is really not looking good. <laughs> so, let's use uh, Jekyll and Hyde Strike Shot again. Uh, we'll try to get rid of the Uranus, and then we'll also set off the counterattacks, and then we'll also try to get some healing in. Yeah, I missed one of the guys, though. I didn't get the uh, defense up, so I took a lot of damage. Still alive, though, somehow. <laughs> Alright, so here, let's use uh, Kanon's uh, Become a Pierce Strike shot. And it's lucky that she's not in the uh, chicken form. Uh, but again, we'll uh, set off the counterattacks. We'll try to hit the healing walls, and then maybe do some damage to the boss. Okay, that was pretty good. Alright, Oberon is still in poor position, but let's see what we can make happen. Yeah, not much. Maybe a little damage on the boss, okay. <laughs> Alright, and then with Hamlin here, we'll uh, just kind of move down. We'll try to get some healing in. If he were in the original form, I'd probably use the uh, Strike Shot here, but I uh, don't have that option here. Okay, nice healing. Uh, 
All right, and then here, this is a pretty easy shot. Uh, we'll just go up with uh, Jekyll and Hyde, uh, set off the two uh, counterattacks, and then come back down, and then just hit the boss. All right. And a little bit of healing. Okay, last stage. So again, we'll get rid of the Uranuses. I'll try to get in between them and try to take them both down. No, okay. Alright, and then with the uh, Oberon, we'll uh, come down, we'll get rid of the last Uranus. So now I would like to get rid of the uh, pair of white guys on the bottom of uh, Catastrophe. Uh, but I don't really have an angle, so we're just going to go up and down and we'll hit the uh, healing wall. And then we'll also restore uh, Hamlin back to his uh, original form. Alright, and then next is uh, Jekyll and Hyde's turn. In most missions, this would be very poor positioning. Uh, but the, uh, the trees and the sphinxes, they turn intangible. Um, so we can kind of go through them and then, uh, you know, fix our positioning. Okay, with Kanon, we'll come down, set off the counterattacks, and then miraculously take down the little guys. <laughs> All right, so now it's just us and the boss. Uh, we just need to hit the counterattacks and then, uh, yeah, go after the boss. So to get that speed and power up, we'll use Oberon Strike Shot again. I think that's like the third time that I've been using it, but yeah, he's been really good here. Okay, nice damage. Alright, and then with Hamlin, let's use his strike shot. Uh, we'll go up and down again to make sure that we get rid of the uh, little guys, uh, set off their counterattacks. I don't want to hit that uh, damage smoke. <laughs> Alright, and then a bunch of damage to the boss. And that was Catastrophe. And yeah, I was super happy to use uh, Hamlin and Oberon uh, in particular. Uh, they're pretty cool characters. And then, as for the character of uh, Catastrophe, I think he looks really cool. Uh, we don't often get sort of older men uh, characters in this game. It's a lot of uh, cute girls. Um, but he's pretty cool looking. And then um, abilities, I don't know how I feel about him yet. I haven't used him yet. Um, stats are super high. Uh, HP is tank status. Attack is over 30,000 with a gauge. Uh, speed is slow at 300. That's like a power types uh, speed, almost. Um, he has a new bump combo where he uh, shoots a shaft of uh, light down on somebody, and that does pretty good damage. You can kind of think of that as like a meteor destruction. Um, but it can hit more than one character at a time, so if characters are close together, we can get good damage in there. And then he has the uh, hit everybody with three shots bump combo. Uh, that's the same as Robin Hood, as a Meliodas. Um, his shots do less damage than usual uh, because it's his sub bump combo. Uh, but still, 5,000 per shot, that's pretty good. Uh, that's on the uh, high end of a uh, spread shot. And then the strike shot seems to be the same as a Valkyrie, uh, which is a tackle strike shot, uh, but it uh, does more damage the more teammates you hit on the way to the target. Uh, this is a difficult strike shot to use, uh, but if you can make it work, it will do, you know, millions of damage, uh, almost guaranteed. Um, Oh, and I forgot to uh, talk about his abilities. Uh, but he's got Minesweeper Null Block. Um, that's kind of cool, I guess. Uh, we've been seeing a lot of that combination lately. Uh, the thing is, though, is that Skill Me Zero is also a Minesweeper with Null Block. Also a Bounce. And then a uh, Dark Element, which is almost interchangeable with a Light Element. Uh, the big place where uh, Catastrophe would be better than Skill Me Zero uh, would be in a Dark Colossal Quest. Um, so if that situation arises, then Catastrophe will be, you know, obviously the better choice. But mm, for most people, uh, if you wanted to make the max luck of one or the other, I would say it's Skill Me Zero. 
um, just because she's much easier to play and uh, beat. And then um, I think her bump combo is even better. It's the one where it locks on to the uh, weak points. And then Strike Shot is probably better too. Uh, it's short range, but it's one of the most damaging Strike Shots in the game. Um, so yeah, at first glance, I'm going to say for most people, just stick to Tsukomi Zero. Uh, but, uh, you know, as we play with Catastrophe, maybe we'll see um, that he's more... Um, he's worth the trouble of playing his Colossal Quest. Okay, good luck with that, and uh, we'll see you again. Take care.